Hello YouTube, Lies Surgic here, and welcome to H1Z1, or H1Z1, depending on what your country of choice is. So before we get into the game, which is very controversial right now, and if you don't know why, you've been living under a rock for the past couple days, or been in a coma, or whatever. But anyway, before we start, I would like to open this video with a quote from Gabe Newell. If you don't know who Gabe Newell is, he's the creator of Half-Life 2. Gabe Newell said, Don't ever, ever try to lie to the internet. They will catch you. They will deconstruct the spin that you put on your lie. They will remember everything you say for eternity. Preach. Preach, Mr. Newell. Preach. Now, that quote is very relevant to this game. So relevant, in fact, that I am not sure whether he said it before or after this whole bullshit happened, but it is very accurate to what is going on in this game right now. Uh, I'm trying to find these two guys around the corner. They, I don't know if you've seen them going to this house before, but I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to mess with them. But anyway, I don't know how to talk yet. But what's going on with this game is that the developers... Oh, shit. <laughs> the developers... He's not going to be my friend. The developers, uh, Jason Smedley and whoever else have been talking about this game and live streaming and they've been active on the reddit subreddit community and they've, they've overall been pretty good developers at being active with and interacting with the community except for the fact that they're big fucking liars the entire time in all of the pre-release information and all of the uh you know early look streams and all that stuff the cons the entire time they've been talking about this game they always said we refuse to sell anything that even remotely has anything to do with paying for an advantage. There will be no way that in, in H1Z1 that you can spend money and get an advantage in the game. The only thing we will sell are cosmetic items. Which struck me as a little strange in the first place. I haven't really followed this game very far. But uh, it struck me as a little strange in the first place. Because if you've played... Oh god, that guy's a bow and arrow. If you've played Planet Side 2... They sell a lot of stuff. They sell guns. They sell, uh, you know, you could you could sell uh, buy boosters to to get XP faster. Or you could become a member to get XP and certifications faster. Um, I'm really big into Planet Side Two, and the the funny part is, oh excuse me, I think that Planet Side Two is the literally the perfect example of a free to play but microtransaction you know involved game. Planet Side Two has a great microtransaction model. Because the game's very balanced, and not balanced in the way that all the guns are the same. Actually, it has some of the most versatile guns in any first-person shooter I've played. But the game has a model that the guns that you the guns that you start with are the best all-around guns in the game. Some of the best all-around guns in the entire game, and they do everything pretty well. Almost everything you buy in Planet Side 2, aside from the very rudimentary certifications, only the only thing they have to do with the game. It, in, at all, uh, in, at being the only thing they have to do with being better at the game, oh, excuse sorry, me, is that they specialize your character more. Yeah, that, that wasn't very fucking nice, dude. <laughs> I wish I knew how to talk. The only thing they special they do in the game in Planet Side Two by buying weapons is specialize your character. You know, you could be more long range oriented by buying a battle rifle, but the guy with the stock gun will still fuck you up in a close range match. And you could be, you know, an engineer that specializes in repairing vehicles, or a medic with your revive grenade. Or, you know, you could buy the the automatic, semi-automatic shotgun for the new conglomerate that's really good up close but has shitty range. And uh, has a, a lot of, of pellet spread, etc, etc. Uh, and overall, Planet Side 2's microtransaction model works really, really well. And it, it's very easy for a more skilled player to defeat a player that has more stuff. And there's not a single item in Planet Side 2 that you can't earn through certifications and ever since the game, you know, has been updated a little bit more frequently, uh, this, it's not as hard to earn certifications as it originally was. So that's not so bad. But this game, unfortunately, is not the case at all. In this game, they have pay-to-win airdrops. In a Daisy roguelike type clone game, they have pay-to-win airdrops that you could just buy an airdrop, and it drops and it's full of guns. It's full of guns. I'm going to do that very shortly. Uh, you, you know, uh, you'll see me do the airdrop in a little bit. I'll, pro I'll probably edit it earlier into the video so it'll come up sooner. But it's it's really just disgusting. Actually, you know what? Let's just... I'm going to just skip to the airdrop now. So the way you're going to see it is that the airdrop's going to come up now. And then I'll return to what I was doing here.
Wow, well, if I stand right here, I could probably search it. Come on, so close. Oh, I got IEDs. I got IEDs. I got all this stuff. I got all this stuff. Get away, get away, get away, get away. <laughs> oh no, I'm bleeding. How do I use my gauze? Unpack. Oh, they're following me. Fuck. That was a waste of time. I guess I'm not going to be able to use my airdrop stuff at all. Because I'm going to die of bleeding. That was a good old waste of time. Still after me? Yep, still after me. At least I had time to use my gauze before I airdropped. Before I uh, can go back to the airdrop, because all the zombies followed me, so I'll just be able to come back and grab the rest of this shit. Why not? Who cares? I'm going to give it a shot, because... this Honestly, this is really just a Daisy clone. It's, it's not... All that interesting. How far away can you see that flare from? I wonder how far it is. Yeah, pretty far. You could see, like, high up into the air, the smoke. It was hard to see the plane, though. I had no idea where the plane was when it was on its way in, or whatever. Uh, this is a high-population server, but I haven't seen many people, and I can't believe no one tried to come take my thing. I guess I, I got lucky with that one. Even though I lost all my health, I could just use all my bandages. Which gave me a little bit of health back. But I got a lighter, some flares, some smoke flares, IEDs, ethanol, and uh, landmines. Cool. I wonder if I can make any recipes with that. I might as well give it a shot. I'm curious how to make a bow and arrow. I haven't figured that one out yet. Every everyone seems to have them, so I'm assuming they're easy to make. Probably just need to hit a tree or something. Maybe I'll try that in a second. But let's see if we can discover any things. This is one possible unknown recipe. If none of my items are highlighted, I will need to scavenge and find the final component. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that doesn't work. I can't punch. Do I punch the tree? It's not... What? So if I'm too close, I can't punch. Okay, I guess that's not how you get uh, wood. Well, let, me, let me Google that real quick. I'm going to figure that one out. So this ended up being a blank spot in the video, and I uh, decided I would narrate it. So this is Lysergic from the future. So it turns out that airdrops are entirely pay to win. It's a complete waste of time. Uh, the airdrop that was supposed to be a 10% chance to get, the one full of fucking landmines, I got it on my first try. I mean, that's, uh, I, I really would prefer if it was just co cosmetic items, and it, it seriously detracts from the value of this game. I mean, even DayZ, which over its entire development has been a complete mess, uh, was not this bad. It was not this bad. I hate to say that, but it wasn't. All right, I'm going to hand back over control to past me. Ah, uh, fuck figuring out how to make wood. I want to kill some of my... my uh. Hey, buddy. Hey, what are you doing? Ah, I went away. Yeah, you fuck right off. Oh shit, he's coming back. Oh, you, hey, 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 hey. Slow down there, buddy. Slow your roll. Fuck you. You'll never take me alive. How the fuck do I use my landmine? Didn't go into the slot. Hey, yo, you want to have a fight off? No, I don't want... No, I don't want to fight you. Actually, wait, yeah, come back. I do want to fight you. Come on. Did I, did I place it or what? Why won't it blow up? I placed the fucking... I placed the landmine and it won't blow up. Come on, it's right there. Blow us up. 
Was that the IED I placed by accident? There we go. It did kill us. Yay. Cool. That was really fucking anticlimactic and really lame. Wow. Cool. I'm so glad that airdrop was worth $2.50 of my well-earned money. What a fucking waste of time. <sighs> so I figured out how to talk. I figured out how to talk. It's middle mouse button. Genius I am. And this fucking guy over here. I had my first conversation of the day with him. We had a nice pleasant conversation. Then he pulls out his bow and arrow and decides he's going to shoot me. He doesn't know who he's fucking with. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, boy. If I can just get away from his bow and arrow that I believe he has out right now that he's trying to kill me with. You ain't got shit. You ain't got shit, son. Um, I got the high ground advantage. There's nothing he can do. What you know about high ground, dog? Maybe my sound radar, a little cheating device, will help me win somehow. It's, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna give me the edge. That's what it said on the motherboard manual. That it's gonna give me the edge. And it's gonna help me kill people. Hey, you big fat phony! You're nothing but a big fat phony. I can't believe you lied to me. I trusted you. I trusted you. <sighs> oh God, he's gonna shoot me. Oh my God, don't shoot me, please. I'm sorry. Oh no! Ow! Ow, dude! Ah, oh, my knee. You son of a bitch. Come on, get, come on, you got, you ain't got nothing, ow, no, I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him, yeah, uh, sorry if I'm a little quiet, this is very intense, uh. he's got nothing, oh yeah, okay, I think I got the advantage here, I hit him like four times, but I got low health, I only got 41%, shit, oh yeah, uh, what, I don't know if his helmet's gonna save his life from my crowbar, oh shit, I'm talking, whoops, Come on, come on. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Yes. Let's see what happens when you lie. You see what happens. You remember the airdrops? Remember how they lied to you about the airdrops? Well, this is what happens when you're a liar, you son of a bitch. And now you're dead. This is why no one likes you. That was very satisfying. This That was incredibly satisfying, actually. Wow. So when you guys rejoin me here, I probably will have already showed off the airdrop. And uh, now that that's over with, I would like to make another parallel to ho hopefully explain what my feelings on this game are like as of right now. I feel like it's an abusive relationship. And I'm going to assign arbitrarily genders. Let's just say that the gamer is the female and the developer is the male. And that has nothing to do with gender roles. Don't call me a misogynist. If you do... I will find you, and I will indiscriminately slap the shit out of you. So anyway, I feel like H1Z1, and not just H1Z1, I feel like, ooh, a crowbar. I feel like everything with Assassin's Creed, and Watch Dogs, and Ubisoft's whole fiasco, just pay-to-win microtransactions, the, the whole early access scenario that we've all grown accustomed to, I feel like it's all just one big abusive relationship. That's exactly what it, it, it is to me. And this is what it's like. We, the gamer, come home after a long day at work, and the developer is already home, and he says, Hi, honey, how are you today? And we say, Oh, great, we had a long day at work, but I, I really just want to spend some time with you. And the developer says, Oh, hey, you know what? Why don't we watch a movie? I've been, I picked out this movie for us. And it's an action movie. I know you really like action movies. Oh, hey. And, uh, you know, I, I picked it out just for you. These guys are creeping me out. I don't know how to talk to them. So they, they, the developer picked it out just for us. So we sit down, we start to watch the movie, and, What's you know, it's, it's a lot of people talking. There's a lot of dialogue in the movie, a lot of character development. Can you talk? And it's a, it's a chick flick. It's a chick flick with one action scene in the movie. There's one action scene where people fight, and it's, it's not even good fighting. Fucking weirdo. It's not even good fighting, and we say, Kurt, what the hell, developer? You told me this is going to be an action movie, and the only action-y part isn't even really that good. So, so what's the deal, man? And the developer goes, you know what? He's Fuck you. I don't even, I don't even like action movies, and this one's better, and if you don't like it, you can just leave. Don't buy it. Don't play it. You see what I did there? You see what I fucking did there? 
And then they say, look at this house, look at these clothes, look what I do for you, you don't appreciate me, mine, mine, mine. It's, it's sickening. It, it really is sickening, I, and I can't stand it anymore. And, you know, we, of course, we're perpetuating, perpetuating it, and of course, you've heard from a million people, just don't pre-order the games, just don't, you know, uh, buy early access, just don't do it, just don't do this. It's not that simple, it's too late. The iPhone games have taken over the world, and everything is going to be microtransactions and cheap knockoffs and Daisy clones from here on out. And that's going to have to be something that we're going to deal with, and we're going to have to slowly weed it out, and it will fall out of style eventually. That's the most important thing, I think, is that, you know, gaming is still going strong, it'll never die, and we just have to ride it out. This trend will go away eventually. We just have to stop showing support for it. That's all there is to it. You don't have to, you know, start a SJW movement over it. We just have to wait it out, and the developers will realize this is not what we want. And if they keep doing this, they're gonna they're not gonna make money anymore. That's why the last Call of Duty wasn't that bad, because they realized that not as many people were playing Call of Duty anymore. So they actually put some thought into Advanced Warfare, and they actually gave it a longer development cycle. It only took, you know, like five years, but it's it's a good it's a good indicator of what we can learn that if we slowly, you know, make a trend go out of style, the developers won't have a choice but to, to rethink their strategy. <clears throat> and H1Z1 is a, a sad victim of that because it could have been a good game. I know, I like, I really enjoyed Planetside. It's one of my favorite games, and I think Sony Online did a, a decent job with that game, at least. But this is, this is just a mess. They totally dropped the ball with this one, and that's really all there is to it. They, they dropped the ball... And it's sad. It's sad. Shit happens. As far as let's let's just say let's just forget about the whole airdrop thing for a second, and I'm gonna pretend that didn't exist, and I'm gonna pretend that I'm giving the game a fair chance, as if there was no airdrop thing. All right. And this is my opinion on the game. Even then, my opinion on the game is that it's kind of a Daisy clone. That there's really not that much more than that to it. It's it's kind of a Daisy clone, and it's kind of boring. And uh, the the crafting system is cool. I think the crafting system is, is decent. It's it's a little more involved than most games of this you know type of the just you know straight off the face Daisy clones. It's a little more involved of a crafting system. It's fun. Uh, this is uh, once again this is a very early impression. I've only been playing the game for maybe three hours. But it's a little boring. The crafting system's nice. The combat system feels very weighty. I, I enjoyed killing this guy before. It was it was really fun. And uh, whatever, man. Would I would I spend my twenty dollars on it? Shit, no. I'm actually one. I've been wondering if uh, if they already announced the refund thing, but you bought the game after that, will they still let you get a refund? That doesn't really make sense. I don't know if, if that's how... Ooh, a zombie. I don't know how that if that's how it works. But uh, I, I would try to get your money back if I was you guys. It's, it's really not worth it. It's not a very good Daisy clone. The The combat's nice. The crafting's okay. But it's nothing special. It is certainly nothing special. And I do not think it's worth your money in any way, shape, or form. And I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry to say that because I think it had potential. I think this could have been the only Daisy clone game that wasn't entirely broken. But they've they've certainly squandered their chance. Gaming is is huge on first impressions, and that's why I like to do first impressions videos. Because if you don't make a good first impression, you're boned. Let's just let's just put it this way. Look at the developers of this game. Look at the developers of this game. If you've been following H1Z1 from the beginning, if you've been posting on the subreddit and trying to help the developers by giving them ideas and keeping up with all the press releases and just generally following this game the day it dropped on steam early access you went and spent your twenty dollars on it didn't you didn't you i bet you did you went and spent your twenty dollars on it and now you're fucked there's no way that they can try to you know play cleanup crew and make it better after this whole airdrop fiasco, which was a, a, a blatant case of complete lying. That's all there is to it. It was a a complete 
and obvious lie. All there is to it. There's no way that you can try to play cleanup crew on that if anybody who remotely cared about your game, especially anybody who's been following it since day one, who's been, you know, really, really excited to play this game, they already bought the game. They already bought the game. It doesn't, it's not good enough to offer a refund. It's not good enough to say, oh, well, we decided that this was a good design philosophy choice to, to make airdrops and have guns in them. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Anybody who cared about the game already bought it. And you ruined their their fun. You dashed their hopes. Like I said in my Ubisoft, you know, uh, rant video, this is so many this is the so many people's favorite hobby. This is what so many people come home at the end of the day and look forward to doing every day. They just want to go home and play video games. And and this is to to have a game on launch day that they've been thinking about and excited for. Ooh, beans. To have them come home on launch day and buy the game and hop into it and realize, wow, this is not what you guys told me it was going to be. It's an outright lie. That ruins so many people's day, I'm sure. And I feel really bad for them. I honestly do. Should you know better at this point? Yeah, but that's not a fucking excuse. That is not a fucking excuse. That was weird. <sighs> Alright guys, this has been H1Z1. I really just don't even want to play this game anymore. It's just not worth it. I did have a little bit of fun killing that one guy with my crowbar, and blowing the guy up with the mine was completely underwhelming. But the ends do not justify the means. Please do not buy this game. It is not worth your money. Do not feed into the predatory development practices that we've been having to deal with for the past couple years. It's just going to get worse before it gets better, but it will. It will eventually get better. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, I promise. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Check out my other uh, PC hardware videos and gaming videos. If you're into Star Citizen, I do a lot of videos on that. Check them out. And that's going to be it for today. This is Light Sergeant, guys. Signing out. I'll see you in the next video.